So, 12 scoop for soup, my turn. Eight scoops of cookie dough, four scoops of ice cream, uh, God help me. Uh, we'll see what I look like and if I can do it here at the end, 15 minutes to get it done. Gonna try and beat the four minute, 45 second mark, but uh, really I just wanna get this thing done, see if I can actually finish it. Uh, looks amazing, we'll see, uh, see how I feel afterwards. Look at that innocent, unsuspecting, hopeful smile. Before we find out where this goes, maybe we should take a step back and talk about where I was and how I got to this point. This is Westchester, the county seat of Chester County and a great town full of beautiful architecture and homes, amazing restaurants, cool shops, fun bars, and tons of unique history. Like that time after Delaware County separated from Chester County and became its own, and a pissed off tavern owner in Chester decided to form a militia take a musket, a cannon, and whiskey to Westchester to try and destroy the new courthouse under construction. But today, things are better. Today I'm visiting Cookie Dough, a dessert shop that specializes in edible cookie dough, but is also crushing it when it comes to other desserts as well. This is not your everyday dessert shop. I speak with Preston Niedermeyer, owner of Cookie Dough, about what makes his place so unique. Hey Preston, thanks for having me in. Thanks for coming in. Welcome to Cookie Dope. Thanks. Uh, tell me about the Cookie Dope. So Cookie Dope was started, we opened in February 2nd of 2018. Um, what we do here is we sell edible cookie dough, which is all made in-house, like me. Uh, we sell ice cream, we sell waffles, milkshakes, um, floats, whatever that we could do with Cookie Dope. And Cookie Dope is, is basically here. So. Awesome, awesome. Yeah. And what, what made you pick Cookie Dope? Um, so I worked in a frozen yogurt shop a couple of years, so that was my start to the whole dessert industry, and then I kept going in life at different spots like restaurants and a, a phone call center, but my heart was in the dessert industry, so I ended up coming back, and I saw a place in New York selling cookie dough and thought, hey, we could do this. <laughs> right away, cookie dough mm -hmm. uh, makes a lot of sense because I'm always wanting to dig into a bowl mm -hmm. of cookie dough before it gets cooked. Um, but I'm always told not to. So why is the cookie dough here safe? Um, so what I do is I heat treat the flour to get out. That gets rid of E. coli um, because E. coli can be found in flour. And then we use pasteurized eggs in our product, which gets rid of the salmonella. Um, and uh, that basically is what we do to make it safe. Um, there's no baking powder in it. Um, because I don't want people eating baking powder. Yeah. <laughs> and then from there, it's just really the regular ingredients that you make cookie dough with, or, or cookies with, I should say. <laughs> nice. We just skip that whole baking part of it. <laughs> yeah. Skip the baking part of it. Who hasn't wanted to do that with cookies? You know, Preston gives us an excuse to eat cookie dough now. Everything here is good. Every time I visit here, there's something new that just tastes great. Things you wouldn't expect to go well together just taste amazing. Preston's really just a mad scientist building dessert concoctions that I suspect are being put in place to one day rule the world. Uh, cookie dough milkshakes, waffle sandwiches, ice cream floats, these are all just a couple of things that make cookie dough a great place to visit. What's your favorite flavor? What's my favorite flavor? Um, probably the brownie, the rowdy brownie in all honesty. That one is just so good. It's good when you pair it with like strawberry ice cream or peanut butter ice cream because it's just... It tastes like a brownie. It's just, it's really good. And it was overlooked for a while and now people love it, so. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. and that brings up a, a good point is it's not just cookie dough you're doing here. Yeah. You're doing ice cream too. Yep. Uh, tell me about that. Uh, ice, our ice cream comes from um, um, Nelson's Ice Cream. It's a creamery in Royersport, Pennsylvania. They've been around since 1937. And um, we have 12 flavors. We're always rotating that as well. but super unique flavors like Grand Slam, one of the most popular flavors. Um, it's a graham cracker flavored ice cream. That one does well. Um, our cake batter is really good. It has f um, icing in it. So it's always fun just tasting the ice creams and pairing them with cookie dough is like the best option for it. Cause you're making, basically this place you make your own cookie dough ice cream here. That's what I think at least. <laughs> That's what we've become. <laughs> um, yeah. What do you see the cookie dough becoming and what do you want it to be for the community? So. I want to get more families in, obviously. I mean, we're already doing good. We, we, we have a lot of returning customers. We see a lot of families return and students return. But my ultimate goal is to make this place the most unique dessert shop in Westchester. So not only is it just kind of a fun environment to hang out in and there's great dessert, you, you, 
you have a great challenge and a fun challenge too. Uh, tell me about it. <laughs> uh, the twelve scoop pursuit. That, that that's something. That's something else right there. So what you do is you get twelve or eight scoops of cookie dough, and then you get four scoops of whatever ice cream you want, and you go fifteen minutes to eat it and beat it. And if you uh, finish it, you get a free T-shirt. They don't all come in pink. Uh, <laughs> and then you also get um, your photo on the wall in the back. And um, I believe there's fourteen people that have beaten it. Probably like thirty that haven't. Um, and yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a fun experience. It's always fun to watch it. I can never do it. Yeah. <laughs> so what's the uh, what's the time record? The time record? Yeah. Um, that goes to Brad. He's at four forty-five. So he's he four did, minutes and forty-five yep, he seconds. He did four minutes and forty-five seconds into the challenge. I yeah. I just want to finish it. Yeah, right? that's that's, that's usually sure how it. it I'm gonna go for the time, <laughs> but I, I have a feeling that's not gonna work for me. But I did. I think I'll. I think I'll be able to finish it. Yeah. We'll just see what happens afterwards. That's usually how it yeah. goes. It comes down to usually the last couple of minutes. But yeah. When he he killed it that day, I was like, whoa, this guy is a monster. <laughs> yeah. Usually the, the person you least expect. Yeah. yeah. He, I was impressed. There was another guy who beat it. Um, his time was six minutes, and then he ate funnel cake fries and a drink of milkshake after. So here we are, back at the beginning. Ready to dive into eight scoops of cookie dough, four scoops of ice cream, and hold on for dear life. Let's see how I did. There's just no way. I can't think of anything that much better that you would want to try to do on a food challenge than cookie dough and ice cream. Uh, but uh, whew, I'm a wimp. And fairly respectable, I guess, for a first try, but whew, I don't know how somebody did this in under five minutes. And um, almost all of them have smiles on their faces who finished it. I don't know who those monsters are, um, where they were raised, what pack of wolves raised them, but uh, they're unique individuals. I can't do it. So I didn't have what it takes to finish the challenge, but I will use the knowledge that almost every one of the people that did complete it were of questionable sobriety. That's my excuse. So Cookie Dope is a great dessert shop that is a fun place to visit and a good reason to come to Westchester. Preston's passionate about creating great desserts and having a fun atmosphere, and he's doing a great job at it. You have to admire a young person who had an idea, came up with a plan, took a risk to make it happen, and works hard to make it a success. For all the people that complain about millennials and my travels across the country, I just keep running into young entrepreneur millennials destroying the misguided stereotype. So get to Westchester and make sure you stop in Cookie Dope. You can thank me for your new dessert obsession later.